Uh, so what attracted you to the roles? Oh man, I got cast. <laughs> That's attractive always, yeah. <laughs> no, um, uh, it was just like the opportunity to be part of this world in particular, and this movie that I knew would be a game changer of a Marvel film. Um, get, getting to work with Ryan Coogler, which was a dream of mine for a very long time. Um, all these things really just made it like the perfect storm of a project to be a part of. Yeah, for me it was just it was a conversation with Ryan and him talking to me about this world and about and then me thinking, wow, if this comes goes out into the world, how many people would it empower? And I mean, it's an African superhero movie. I was like, well, I have to. How do I get involved? <laughs> to be how do I get involved in this? So it's um, it was just yeah, for me it was just like and and to work with this this cast of people as yeah. well and to like just to get to know everyone. It was it's it was across the board. It was attractive. And like you, it would be an honor to have the opportunity to work with any of these people individually, not to be part of a cast with Forrest Whitaker, Angela Bassett, Daniel Kaluuya, Martin Freeman. Come on, Andy Serkis. It, it's it's just magical, daunting, daunting yeah. for sure. You mentioned uh, working with Ryan, uh, so tell us about the experience of working with Ryan on set. Well, you know, a thing for me that I feel you know, Ryan has this kind of musicality about the way he works like he listens very uh intently and closely and and he kind of composes what he wants like he's listening he's like yeah i want this can can this happen and he's very much like an attentive director and even going back to your past question about you know drawing you to the project i knew i wanted to be part of the project because in the audition i would sometimes check in to see if how i was doing while i'm acting and I would notice that he's just like this. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd come to me like, that was cool, that was cool. Can you do it more like this? So he was listening to me very closely. I think with me, it was like, uh, he, he could just read people and read other actors and kind of like navigating and then just unlock things in you that you didn't even know, you didn't think of in that way, just from a conversation being had on the set. And it feels a casual, like it's a casual conversation, mm -hmm. but he goes, oh no, and then you go, oh, 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 oh. And his touchstones are like no other, mm -hmm. that are just the fabric of our world. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the uh, practical sets that you got to play around with in Atlanta uh, and how that influenced your performance and affected. The practical sets, I mean, it's amazing. Like this, like seeing Wakanda, even like a lot of it was green screen, but the, the stuff that we saw and the landscapes that we were a part of were just fascinating to, yeah. to, to be around. And you kind of, you're in awe of it first time, but then as a character, you have to kind of go, this is my world, this is and my reality. those aspects that were like present for you at the time were so like flawless and believable. So the first time I saw the waterfall, I'm like, I really get a basin and I get like a fall and all these things, it's actually pretty cool. 